In this video, we're going to discuss the teleswitch behavior. So this is another one of those interesting switch behaviors that does something a little bit different. So here you can see I've created this uh, elaborate puzzle room and the goal here is to get up to the top where that door is to get through to the next uh, spot. And so there's no ladders to climb or anything like that, but I've got these two pull switches and you can see that when I cursor over them, it says press E to teleport. So teleport, you might think, well, what does that do? So I'm going to pull this over here and whoop, sure enough, I've teleported up to the next level. So I get the idea now. I've just got to choose a switch and hope I get the right one. So if I press uh, E to teleport on this one. I'm up on the second level here, so we're making progress. Uh, let's see here. If I choose the wrong lever, then it might send me back. So I think if I choose this one again, if go left again, then it sends me back to the one I was just at. So i got to memorize the pattern, make sure I get to the right location. Uh, let's see. So now we're on three. Uh, i got to remember which one it was now. Um... I think it was on the right this time. Nope. I, was wrong. <laughs> I really should have written it down, to be honest with you. That's uh, here. So I think it's there. And then that one. Sweet. We're getting closer. And must be this one. Yes. So we made it to the door at the very top of the room just by teleporting back and forth. To these different platforms so fairly simple puzzle but you get the idea this has a lot of potential um, let's take a look and see how this is all set up so here we are back in the beginning and we have our switches basically it doesn't really matter which switch i'm using the the chain pulley because it comes with the set but you can use any switch that you have available a button whatever it is uh, we have the tele tele switch behavior assigned to it this is the prompt text. So we saw it said E to teleport. Um, it has the use range, which is how close do you have to be to the object in order to interact with it. You have a player level, which I thought was really a great idea because that gives you the ability to level lock an area in case the player simply isn't the right level in order to progress forward. You can stop them from going forward that way. And then, of course, a, a sound slot for when you activate the, the switch. Okay, so very, very simple setup. Um, and the only other thing you need to know about this one is I'm going to click the logic links and you can see it's it's a bit of a spaghetti maze in here, right? So basically what happens is I've got a logic link pointed to a trigger zone and the trigger zone doesn't actually have any behavior to it. It's just there to act as a, as a place for the switch to understand where to go to if it's activated. So if I activate the left switch, we can see that that switch is linked up to this platform here and it takes me up there. If I activated the right switch on this platform, it's linked down to uh, the one below and so on. So you can see that if you just uh, arrange the logic links to point to something, that's where you're going to go. Now it says in the behavior, let me just go back to the behavior. It says specifically, um, it's better to use a small or a flat object to avoid getting stuck. So you wouldn't want to link it to like, you know, the, the, the uh, lamp, for example, right? The brazier or, or anything large, because you don't know where on that object it's going to place you at least with a, a zone like this it's flat you know pretty much where it's going to land you and that's the idea so i just used a bunch of trigger zones to point to so that it knew exactly where it, uh, it you know i wanted it to take me and that was that was pretty much it the rest of it was just kind of an interesting idea that i had uh, for this one so uh, i hope you enjoyed that 
Uh, if you enjoyed the video or if you learned anything new, I really appreciate the, the clicking the thumbs up button down below. That really helps me out. If you're new here or if you just haven't subscribed yet for whatever reason, maybe I've earned it by now. Maybe you can click that subscribe button and join us. Um, if you'd like a notification for whenever new videos comes out, just click the bell icon. It's right next door and that'll let you know when new videos are posted. Uh, but that's it. Thanks so much for watching all the way through. I appreciate it very much and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.